Rise now. And then, of course, Eki Butler, the champ, undefeated in the minimum weight, straw weight, world title fights, and he faces some Piwi Conco. That's the five fights for Saturday, the 19th of September. Raja at Empress Palace, Piermont, your mecca of boxing. Let's speak to the heavyweight champion of Piermont, Mr. Bob Yerim. Bob, we're back here again. It feels like uh, it was just yesterday we were here. We've had so many great tournaments here, thanks to Golden Globes, Rodney Bowman, thanks to you guys for hosting us. Another great tournament, uh, they just seem to get be getting better and better. Tell us your feelings on the show, thanks Bob. Yeah, thanks Brian. Uh, no, everybody, um, welcome to all of the media, VIP guests, uh, officials, uh, thanks to Super Sport, thanks to Golden Globes, and thanks particularly to Jeff Ellis for this one. Welcome everybody, welcome to Empress Palace, welcome to the Palace of Dreams once again. As Brian said, these things tend to um, come and go so quickly now. I think this is probably our um, sixth night of boxing this year, and uh, we're looking at putting some schedules together for next year. Um, but no, a great card, Brian. We're very much looking forward to it. I'm, I'm led to believe from Jeff that it's sold out again, which is which is great for us. Uh, one thing with the boxing dine, um, I'm not sure if anybody PBRs it while they're at the fight and then watches it the next day. But it always looks like a great atmosphere, the room always looks superb, the venue looks fantastic, and most importantly of all, the fighting is great. So, again, another great night on Saturday night, uh, held up on the night by Hecky, so good to see Hecky here again. Nice to see you back, and uh, we look forward to a great night. Good luck to all the other guys who are fighting on the night. There's some. Um, some regulars who haven't been here for a while. Uh, welcome back, Jason. Uh, uh, Rhino's here again. Uh, we've got a new fighter from Ireland, Gary Sweeney, and a guy who we've been keeping an eye on um, quite a lot in his last few fights is uh, Roman from Kazakhstan. Uh, let's hope it's a great night. We look forward to it. Once again, thanks to everybody for attending today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all on Sunday night. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Bob uh, Mr. Len Hunt, can we ask you to say a couple of words? Len Hunt from the IBO. Thank you, Butler, of course, defending the WBA and the IBO title on Saturday night. He's been a wonderful IBO champion. Uh, the IBO has really been good to South Africa. We've got Tommy Wistazen, who's a seven-time IBO champion, and many, many IBO world champions that have come out of this country. And Hecky being uh, the greatest fighter in the world right now in his division, he's an IBO champion. Tell us your feelings on, on the fight, please, Mr. Lennart. Uh, thanks, Brian. I, uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to be a tremendous show, a tremendous fight. Eki assures me he's fit and ready and ready to go, which is always normal with Eki. He keeps in good condition, he's got a good life. Um, the tournament itself, I think nobody can complain. This is going to be brilliant. It always is. Golden Gloves know what they're doing and they do a good job. And if the home of boxing, of course, is we back here for another tournament. Sorry that, I'd rather referee the talk. <laughs> well, thanks Mr. Lennon, the legend in boxing in this country is a referee judge and now the main guy for South Africa in the IBO. Let me start uh, on my right hand side, uh, Manny Fernandez, well known boxing trainer in this country, famous boxing trainer. Manny, you've uh, trained many good fighters. Jason was with you before and left and, he, and, he, and he's back with you. Um, what have you done to Jason that the fans can look forward to to change him and do you, do you think he can beat Paul Kamanga? Manny Fernandes. Hi, uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and uh, thanks to Golden Gloves, Empress Palace, wonderful event that's going to happen on Saturday and giving Jason an opportunity. Um, you know, when Jason came back from me after being with the other trainers, uh, he was flat footed, didn't move well, his coordination wasn't great. We worked on a lot of things and I think he's going to surprise people on Saturday. But we know Paul's a great fighter, a good fighter, he can box, he can move. It's not going to be easy, but we've got a game plan and uh, if we stick to that game plan, I think we're really going to put up a great show and I think we're going to win this fight. Thanks, Manny. Well, as I said, you're a great trainer and you've got many guys up for it and surprised a lot of people. <coughs> Jason Biederman, uh, electric fighter, exciting. We've seen many of fights who've knocked out guys that you weren't supposed to knock out, that nobody thought you would. Um, you've come from behind in fights and won. You're a very exciting fighter. You're like the Mike Holt of the old times. And uh, you can win at any time because you're a good puncher. How do you feel about the fighting a brilliant, undefeated youngster like Paul Kamanga? Hello, everyone. 
I'm feeling very confident. I'm very well prepared. And come watch. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fireworks. All the best. Thanks, Jason. Get him in short and sweet. Fireworks. Let's talk to the man you're going to fight. And see what he says about fireworks. Anton Gilmore. What do you say about the fireworks? Jason Biederman says that it's going to be a big fight in the fireworks. We all know, you know Jason Biederman very well, you trained him as well. He's, he's one of your friends, one of your former guys. And, you know, the boxers are all friends in the country and around the world. He's fantastic about boxing. He's, he's a good camaraderie. Tell us the fight now with, with, with Jason. Can you win the fight? Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, I believe we can. Um, nothing's cast in stone. It's a nice thing about boxing. There's upsets all the time. Um, it keeps boxing exciting, in my opinion. But uh, you know, Manny says he's got a, a game plan. We've got. We've always had many game plans. We can fight any situation. Um, Jason's been in our stable. Uh, I wish him well. And uh, I think uh, you know, Jason. He's only got two losses out of uh, all his. Uh, fights you know so it's a decent record it's a good credible opponent for us to fight whichever way it goes it's good for both the guys one goes up other one goes left so um, nevertheless yeah but bottom line is Paul's gonna win well here you have a confident talk from trainer Anton Gilmore Paul Kamanga what do you say you're gonna win uh, thanks Uncle Brian thanks everyone first of all thank Lord Jesus and I thank my team Uncle Ryan Tab Anton Alan to be all in other guys again this morning thank my sponsor studio coming back to your question Uncle Brian uh yeah we fought many a couple of times and every time he came near 30 had a game plan to beat us and never happened and I think it's gonna be the same this time we've trained hard we had a good training camp and I believe we definitely gonna win this fight thank you Fantastic, thanks Paul. Can we get a prediction? Is it going to be a knockout? Points win? Betting. Um, yeah, we couldn't take it back bets after what you said. Uh, I think it will be a knockout. Right, uh, Anton Gilmore, prediction? Same, same, knockout. Knockout. Let's finish off with Manny and Jason. These guys are predicting they're going to knock you out. What do you say, Jason Beerman? I'm not there to surprise them all. So you say knockout from your side? <laughs> Come and check. Come and check. Jason Bierman says, bring it on. I always say knockouts are bonus, so we're going to need to win on points right now. I think we're going to get a bonus. Okay, Mr. So Manny, you winning on points, they winning on knockout. Come and watch the fight, it's going to be great. Right, let me start here. Ndidi, Ndidi, you brilliant promoter down in the Eastern Cape. You got me flying up and down to East London every week. I should be living there with you in East London. We spend so much time together. You're doing great shows down there. And this man's a Pee Conquer, this guy can fight. Uh, he was manager, you brought him up here. It's, it's a big challenge, you, it's a big task ahead of you. You're fighting the best strawweight on the planet. Do you guys think you can pull it off? And Delhi. Probably we'll start by saying good afternoon. And you just can say good afternoon to Len. Um, I wonder <coughs> what the discussions were between you and Heggy when he told you, when he assured you that he was ready for the fight. And I don't know if the fight commissioner can be assured that uh, he's ready, but that's, that's a story for another day. We, we wouldn't have taken the fight if we didn't believe in ourselves. And um, if Heggy thinks that the respect that we're affording him is us being scared, you better think again. We afford him so much respect because he has earned respect. He's the best in the country right now. Pound for pound. World. Well, pound for pound, he's number one in the country. And in the world, he's up there in the top 10 as far as I'm concerned. So um, the stakes cannot be higher. Um, Simpua knows what he's in for. Um, it's beyond just the titles that are at stake. Uh, we're going back to the old rivalry between the Eastern Cape and the Dan Transvaal, uh, when there was a rivalry between the two provinces. But what we can say is uh, we'd like to wish Henke all the best. Um, but unfortunately, your time as the reigning champion 
um, has, I mean, will come to an end come Saturday. No. Come Saturday. Um, it's a pity that we'll be doing that to the most, the most humble and the most respectful, I mean, respectful fighter I've ever seen. Thanks, and Dili, I'm going to jump before I speak to Man Superior Conquer. Let me speak to Colin Nathan. Colin, uh, it's uh, bright words that on uh, the challenge for Heki Bata. Uh, is a man that knows he's boxing, and the Eastern Cape is dangerous, but he is facing the best fighter on the planet in his way. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, kind of bold. I just want to greet everyone. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being here. A big shout out to Super Sport, Golden Gloves, and Empress Palace. Um, we're expecting a tough fight. I'm not expecting an easy fight. Conco is a solid, solid fighter. And he has shown Heki respect. But he's also been quite active on Twitter. And I quote, <laughs> I wasn't going to let this go. Conco. It will be a war between the haves and the have-nots. What's that supposed to mean? Those What's that supposed to mean? No, I'm speaking to some people. I'm dealing to the winner. What's that supposed to mean? I'm the have and the have not. I'm you clearly don't know where Hickey's come from, my friend. I'm clearly I'm not. <laughs> Let me carry on. I'm tempted to liken it between Rocky Balboa versus Club Alain. Hunger one. Who won in the end? Who won in the end? <laughs> it's not where you start, it's where you end. There's only one winner Saturday night, Hickey got that. Colin Nathan says, says Hickey Butler will remain undefeated in the division. So Piri Conquer, a big challenge for you. We know you, all, you guys are all good fighters, all humble men. Do you feel you can dethrone the great Hickey Butler? Uh, uh, yes, anything can happen that day. I mean, I'm a champion. I've been dominating locally. And the Hex has been dominating internationally. I think this, this will be the battle of two champions. So to me, this is going to be a very big fight. And I know and I believe that I can surprise Hex. That's all I can say. Thanks, Simpu. Let's talk to the champ himself. Let's give, uh, let's give Simpu a big hand. Challenger, good fighter, and the champ himself, Heki, the executioner, Butler, the Empress Palace kid, many uh, nicknames. Heki, you're undefeated in the, in the strawweight division. You, you gave to your 13th world title fight. That's absolutely amazing. You've been a, a boxing legend from this country. You're rated pound for pound as one of the best fighters in, on the planet. You are the best fighter on the planet in your division. I don't care what Tim the Arsenal and his clowns say. You are the best, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, he's, he shouldn't get a mention, but he, now he deserves a mention because I'm saying what he did. So, you are the best fighter on the planet, your division. How's your preparations gone? And if you feel you can win again, you've, it's, it's another tough challenge. Um, hello to everybody. No, no, we, we work hard every time we get into the ring. Um, like I said, my, on numerous occasions, after I've finished training, I have to sit in my car for half an hour before I can drive home because I'm too tired to drive. Um, we worked hard. I'm not overlooking any opponent. I'll never do that in my life. Every, every fight is your hardest fight, that's what I believe, and I believe that in this fight as well, that we're going to come out as champion, um, we're going to go in there as champion, and with God willing, God on my side, I'm going to stay the champion after this. Fantastic, again. Yeah. Well, that, that concludes the uh, press conference, and the guys are going to weigh in, and then guys, please, all the fighters, I need you back on stage for pictures for the media, and the media, you're more than welcome to shoot pictures now if you want to. Well, as the guys are, are getting on the scale. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the championship fighters are getting on the scale.